Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video on the One Defense Iron Man. I'm pretty excited for this one because we're One Defense, we're an Iron Man, so we've got terrible gear even though I've tried to get the best we can. And we're 48 combat, which means 61 range, so this is going to be a big challenge for me. I haven't really done a fire cape on an account lower than like 75 range and 70 death before, so this is going to be really interesting. Hope you guys enjoy this video and if you've been enjoying the series so far, I appreciate you all tuning in. Without further ado, let's get into the clips. Well, this has taken a very long time to buy all these emeralds. I needed to buy a hundred, and I didn't know where to buy them from. It would be great if I could use the Cesar shop, but I don't have the fire cape just yet. So, I've been hopping around the Alka Ridge, Jewel Arena everywhere. I'm on a PvP at the world at the moment, risking 1.4 mil cash. That's how desperate I am. But there we go. The end of the emerald bolts. I figured I'd use them because the special attack will make it a bit easier. And it probably cost me about 100k, but I just want to try and make sure that I definitely do it first time. And hopefully a thousand of them are enough. It's time to spend our cash stack on runes. I don't know if I can trust you. Hand in the sand. Oh, I hate these new updates. This means I need to do another flipping quest. Oh, well. Hopefully that quest doesn't take too long. Give the wizard the head. A bit brutal. Cutting off a head or finding it or whatever we did. But there we go. Hand in the sand. Done. Now I can actually buy blood runes and all that stuff from this shop. So I'm here because I'm buying runes to use blood spells in the fight caves. I'm going to use blood rush. And it's kind of bad, but they all heal 25% of the damage. So actually, it doesn't really matter which one you use. It'll just take longer using Blood Rush. But there goes a big chunk of cash. Right then, I think I'm ready for the Fire Cape. I couldn't get much better stuff than this. I want to keep trying to do it at low level, just for the challenge. 61 range, 47 combat, and Blood Rush. And I brought the staff, and then I can also do the boot takeoff, the vams takeoff, and the chaps takeoff for maging. Because I figured I need the space for the food. Look on here. 19 prayer bonus is actually really really good but i'm still going to bring quite a lot of prayer potions because i don't think my sebo is going to be hitting that much so we're probably going to need them as i'm not the best flicker in the world and also made some pizzas which heal 22 each which is really nice 11 hp per bite and then we've also got the purple sweets down the bottom that we got from our medium clue i was going to say grind but not really grind because yeah, if you missed last video, we got unbelievably lucky on both sets of boots, the Wizards and the Ranger boots. So yeah, I'm pretty confident in this setup. The bolts will be good as well because the special attack, I think it neglects the monster defense. And anyway, the poison's damage will make it go so much faster. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident that I can do it first run. Hopefully I do. If I don't manage it, then I'm going to lose a lot of supplies from prayer potions, the runes, the bolts and everything like that, which took me quite a lot of money to gather together for this attempt. But yeah, let's go do this. Also, if I miss a flick, I'm 46 HP, so hopefully I don't get one banged by one of the majors. Now it's time for a brief intermission. Some of you may know that I am trying to do this full time, YouTube and streaming and all that stuff. I'm taking a year off after university and hopefully I can make this work. So some of you may have noticed in the last video, I had a t-shirt made for RuneFest and people were saying that like, it looks pretty, like it looks decent, you know. To save me mints in my words, here's the design. I think it looks pretty decent, you know. It's pretty like slick. Like you're not gonna be outed for being a RuneScape nerd in public. Like I, I wear this in the street all the time. Like I quite like it to be honest. So hopefully by the time this video is out, I will have got this on long sleeve tees and sweatshirts and stuff like that. Probably depends on which country you come from but depending on what you can get. So yeah, this is just an opportunity for you guys to support me financially if you don't want to do like patreon or donations or whatever like that you actually get something back this time and i don't even think it's that bad of a product anyway on with the video the time has come i'm ready it's probably gonna take me about four hours or something like that but i don't know we'll see we will see let's go and do this i took some damage so this is my first time using some blood rushes getting the hp back up there running away from the bat in case it nips me for a three or something there we go. I think I can hit most of the things with Mage in here. Like they're not too defensive against it. And I've got all the time in the world if I can save spots on them as well. Once again, healing up with this. Oh, I probably could have died there. I got hit a three on like 26 HP. Can't remember the max hit of these. But yeah, just healing up off these things. They heal themselves when they're close to you as well, so that's kind of nice. Like hitting 14 there, that's like an extra purple sweep. The range really hasn't been that bad if I'm being able to flick Eagle Eye like when they're safe spotted. Plus the poison damage is doing a lot of work. But now comes the 360s. They can probably one bang me, so I should be pretty safe with my flicks. Hopefully that doesn't happen. I don't know if they can hit 46. They can definitely hit over 40, so 
I'm going to be blood blitzing to full HP after every single wave. But here we go. It starts. It's the first one of these big boys. Probably going to spend a lot of time bolting these. I'm just in love with the blood blitz. Every single one of these creatures is an extra 10 HP. As you can see, the supplies are looking very good. Really haven't drunk very many prayer potions or eaten any pizzas at all yet. Alright, this is where things start getting complicated because you get the rangers and the majors at the same time. And because I'm one defense, I get absolutely shredded by these rangers. They hit pretty much every single hit. And I'm only 46 HP, so they can max a 15. They could three hit me. So I've got to be really careful about what I do with these. I'm using what is called the aeroplane method or something like that, where you stand in a corner and then check to see if a range spawns on one side or a mage spawns on the other. I don't, I don't know, I don't know how you do it, but it seems to work pretty well. And I've been using that to make it a bit easier. No, 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 no. The range is on me as well. Oh, dear. Oh, they're on the same tick. Shh. Oh, I'm going to have to eat. This is a waste of food. Oh, they are on the same tick. Oh, my God. What am I doing? All right, if I run out of range of the range, hopefully it'll off-tick it. Yeah, look, it is now. It is now. It is now. Okay. There we go. Oh my god, I'm so bad. How have I got an Inferno cape? <laughs> oh, panic. It's high risk. Right, okay, I've got them off ticks. Hopefully this should be okay. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. Holy shit. If I miss one of these, I'm dead. Oh, what is going on? <laughs> Wave 53 as well. I'm doing so well on food and stuff, but that definitely did... That's the biggest issue I've had so far. Sure, six pizzas left, wave 53. Some of these waves are going to be pretty difficult as well. <laughs> Don't mind me, just had a bit of a mishap. Missed a prayer flick and got hit for like a 39, which took me down to 7 HP. So it's a good job I've been safing up every wave. We're on wave 59 at the moment, so things are looking really up. Wave 60 is like the only difficult wave we've got left, because once you get two 180s and a 360 and stuff like that, and two 360s, it's pretty easy to be honest. You know what's been so nice? You don't have to think about the flipping mage spawning all the minions back like you do in the Inferno. Oh, it's like such a happy day. Like once a mage is down, you just forget about it. It's all good. But there we go. One more mage to go. And a little pro tip for you. The Jad always spawns where the orange mage spawns on the second to last wave. So if you make sure you know where that spawns, then you can just be here for Jad. And you can see its attack rather than having to hear it. I don't, personally, I don't play with the game sounds on. I don't really listen to them. I don't really like them. So, yeah. Here we go. It's party time. Mr. Jad. Let's go. The final challenge. If I mess a, miss a prayer flick, I'm dead. Because I'm 47 HP as well. So, that's pretty scary. I don't know. If I'm, oh, I'm probably going to flick the attack prayer. Because Jad does have pretty high defense. And I do only have 61 range. Hey, look at that. We hit. Need to get him poisoned as soon as possible. I'm thinking some of the healers might be able to get trapped. That's why I ran over here. They should be coming in a second. There we go. There's one. Jad Rangers. Where are the rest of them? I, they run from far out, you know. They run from a long distance to get to their master. So 11 already. That's not great. Right, I think I'm going to safe spot them all over here. Oh my days. I was getting hit for numbers there. Right. It's only four, right? I'm pretty sure it's only four. Okay, this is this is happy. This is good. This is good. They didn't heal Jad that much. They're going to heal each other, but I'm just going to kill them now. And I'm going to blood blitz back up to full HP. Right, there we go. There's the last healer done. May as well eat a pizza. Three pizzas, four prayer potions are left. We should be absolutely fine now. And Jad's still been getting poisoned this entire time. So we only have to do 130 HP of damage. Is that it? Nope. Go on. Poison, just tick him down. Oh, that might be it. That might be it there. There we go. Finished. Just under three hours, actually. That wasn't too bad. 61 range. And there we go. The fire cape has been achieved on the pure Iron Man. By the way, level 48 in the end because I actually leveled up some stats during the caves. But I'm really happy with that. I'm really happy. I set myself the challenge. I had my eyes on this for a while like as a focus just to be able to do this. You know, it's just fun to push yourself and see what you can manage to do in this game. But now I'm looking pretty cool. I don't know what other Iron Men have this. I don't know if there's that many lower levels than me. I'm pretty sure there's some, some lower level Iron Men out there, like some absolutely crazy people. But 
this is a good achievement for me. I'm happy that I've done this. And it's been fun, like, getting ready and stuff. It's been really good. I'm always, like, considering doing this and seeing if I can get it lower and lower each time. Like, if I did it another time, maybe. I don't, I don't know. It's been really good. But anyway, plus four melee strength. We're only 33 strength at the moment. So I don't exactly need that just yet. But for now, I'm very happy to say I've achieved the fire cape. 